good morning everyone welcome back ha <sighs> and it is a sculpture and I'm in London and I did not prepare to come for scorching hot weather not really I was only supposed to be here a few days Mindy had a few things planned and it's not gone to plan at all um, I'll fill you in uh, Dee had a hospital appointment we went to the hospital appointment and they said we need to bring you in and poor Dee is stuck in the hospital <laughs> in 34 degrees with no air con uh, not very well actually but um, hopefully they'll get it sorted out so all plans have gone out the window and it's been pretty difficult I'm gonna I'm going to try and uh, do some filming over the next couple of days now that she's settled in there but I'll be spending a lot of time with her obviously um, so yeah we'll just have to see how this week's vlog is gonna turn out and I'll keep you all posted obviously I'm uh, just gonna go and get some shopping and some washing powder because uh, I'm running out of cool clothes and I need to wash them. We're not staying at a hotel. Thank God I've got another family member to stay with because I don't know what I'd do. Um, and Bowie's actually staying with her as well. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna throw up a little film of what I've got on today. It is bare minimal, totally bare minimal I've, I've put earrings in I haven't even put a watch on any other jewelry on it's just too hot I think all those metals make you sweat more um, and I've just my hair is up I've literally put a little bit of foundation on I've not even bothered with mascara today foundation lipstick blush that is all that I've got um, because it's just gonna slide off, isn't it, anyway? I'll look presentable when I get there. I dread to think what I'm gonna look like by the end of the day. I've not even, I've not done my hair. I've just tied it up, scraped it back, job done. Because that's gonna sweat as well. Um, I'm just heading to Tesco's now to pick up a couple of bits for D. And I'll keep you posted. morning it's a huge garden let's come around here a bit more that's better a little bit more shady um i just thought i'd fill you in on the last couple of days and do not look at my nails they are in dire need of some tlc i'm gonna go and get some uh, nail varnish today because I forgot mine because I forgot mine. Um, I'll just give you a little update on D. It was an eventful few days, let me tell you. Um, I think in one of the weekly vlogs I said about her having a bad headache. So she made an appointment to see um, the neurologist up here and we went for the uh, tests at the hospital and they took her straight in. It wasn't actually because of her head, it was because she had a really poor ECG result. Um, so in hospital for a few tests and her blood pressure was really low, her heart rate was low and this is why she was getting the headache I think. Um, and it was uh, quite a bit of a scary time for us both anyway she's come home now or she's out now and a lot better I might add they've taken her off of some of her tablets her regular tablets she was on a beta block so they've taken her off of that and she seems so much better um, we're gonna head out to the shops in a minute it's the first day that she's been out we've actually been here a week today normally we're only here for a couple of days so she's got to um, go home with a heart monitor on 
So we're just waiting for the hospital to call and fit that. You'd think they'd do that, wouldn't you, while she was in there. Uh, she's had an MRI. And so it's all just tests and finding out what's, what's going on, really. But I'll keep you updated. We had some brilliant storms here in London. I will say that it was so hot. The three hottest days and we was in the hospital 24-7 literally so I haven't done a lot of filming I've not done half the things that I wanted to do while I was here in London but you know that all goes out the window doesn't it it is what it is um, I'm just glad that she's feeling a lot better so we're gonna pop out in the car now I'm gonna go to my trusty old TK Maxx and there's a new garden center open down the road I look all hunched up I'm not really I'm not um, yeah, so we're going to go and take a browse at that. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. It's just a really simple um, Bob Marsh denim dress that I've had for years. If I can find anything similar, I'll link it down below. But Dee bought me these a few weeks ago in the TK Maxx. They're, they're June. I think June released these every year. And I have lived in them. Oh, it was you that brought the bowl. Ready? Bo's in our element because we're in a big garden and all she wants to do is play ball.
wonder if Cosmos come out every year, do they? Does anyone know? I really want one. I think they're going to be mine. White or pink? No? The pink's pretty. I admired these a lot last year and you get so many flowers off of them, don't you? Should grow them from seed, really. Two for ten pounds. Not bad, I think they're going to be mine. It's a beautiful day. Look at all the flowers behind me. In my element. <laughs> it's a shame I've only got a potted garden. I just love looking at it all. I've had the big garden and it was too much hard work, so not doing it again. We came to get dear Canna Lily, but they haven't got one, which is a shame. She's bought some nice food from the deli though. Big Busy Lizzie's. They were always mum's favourite. Little bird houses. Aces. Aces were another one of my favourites. That's a beauty. I've got one nice really big red acer in the garden. And I've also got bays as well. So pretty. Potted Alstromeras. These are what I buy nearly every weekend. They're so lovely in a vase. That pink is beautiful. I mean, we are in June and I've still not potted up my flower bed yet. That's pretty. What is that? It's a geranium of some sort, isn't it? Hydrangea. Um, I've seen this one before. What is it called? Annabelle. Love that. Oh, look, and they've got the baby pink. Oh, now I'm torn. White or pink? Home. Well, sort of home. It's been such a lovely warm day. We went to TK Maxx and we didn't find much, but I did find this. Four pounds. It's got a bluey tint to it. I don't know if you can see that, but the glass is actually blue. I love these glass cups. I use the ones that I've got at home all the time. Nice cup of tea because I've not had one for a while. And uh, I was looking in um, TK Maxx for some drawer knobs. I, I've, I've bought them in there a few times now. The uh, You can get like little sets and we, we, I'm going to repaint some of the furniture. The, the bedside units that used to be in my bedroom before I moved are currently in my front room. They need a little bit of sprucing up. I got a glass top broken when I moved, so I've got to replace that. And I want to add some extra new handles to them, drawer knobs. Um, and they had some beautiful ones in there. And then Dee started saying, well, why don't we do all the chest of drawers in the same handles? And it just all got too complicated. So I will wait until I'm back in Essex and do it that way. So I can't wait for you to see things as they go along with the decorating. My room will be finished first. 
and I hope you're gonna like it. It's gonna be like all of us move, moving home, really, because most of my content is produced in my room, isn't it? And I, I hope you're gonna like it. Yeah, so I didn't get them, but I did get a nice little cup. D got a couple of tops. TK Maxx had some nice bits. Very tempting on plant pots. They've got some beautiful plant pots at the moment. So if you've got the chance to get to a TK Maxx and you need to buy plant pots, that is the place to go because they are so much cheaper. Some of the prices of the ones I looked in that garden centre were astronomical. But I did get me some Cosmos, look. They're so pretty, so pretty. I'm hoping I can get some seeds out of these. Do any of you get seeds from Cosmos? How do you do it? Because I've never done it. I know Mum used to do it. So these are gonna go into the tubs. I can't believe that I've not planted up my garden this year yet, and we're coming to the end of June. It's ridiculous. But I am going to do it very soon. So that's it. That was my day. We had a little look round there. Was going to take some photos this afternoon, but I'm not pushing Dee too much, and she gets tired really quick. And we're still not sure what the problem is with her yet, so I'm not pushing her anyway. So I will go out and do them tomorrow. So yeah, we're going to have some dinner now and I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you sometime tomorrow. Morning, just coming to our favourite spot, or should I say my favourite spot, my favourite gardens at Zion Park. I just thought I'd give you a little view of the house there. I think I've been in there and filmed it before. But it's always just so lovely and peaceful. So quiet, look. We've got it all to ourselves. And you're having a nice little stroll. You're feeling better, aren't you, darling? I am indeed. Yep, it's nice. It's all good. Since when did Alexa start saying thank you? That's what I'd like to know. Morning. Home. Drinking out of my new cup. I'm so pleased with this cup. I recommend them if you can find these glass thermal cups actually I know they sell some on Amazon I'll see if I can link some down below but we're home D is so much better I will say that we're not out of the woods yet the headache's gone but um, they're still talking about putting a pacemaker in she's had the MRI scan and we just need to wait for the results now to find out what's going to happen next but in herself she is feeling so much better and that is lovely and it's good to be home we only intended to be in london for i think two or three days and we ended up being there eight days because of the hospital visit and i'm gonna say i missed my stuff i am always moaning about um how much effort we have to put into this anti-aging <laughs> the older we get the more we seem to need or the more i seem to need and i'm always moaning about it how long it all takes you know you got to put the work in if you want to get the results out and i didn't take hot you know i just took bare essentials with me and I really missed a lot of my stuff. Like my, um, I was gonna show you a hack for this actually. My new face, I use this every morning, every single morning without fail. I'm trying to keep those jowls at bay. And uh, I go downstairs in the mornings. I normally watch a vlog while I'm doing this you know because it's so mundane and I, some mornings I think about it and I think oh you know can I be bothered to do that but not having it for those eight days while I was away I really noticed a difference of not using it it's only when things like this happen 
that you realise the benefits that you're getting out of what you're using. I didn't take any retinol with me and it was like I could tell that I hadn't used my retinol. You know, little things like that. So, and tanning. I, I didn't take any tan with me. All my tan faded. <laughs> and I just felt rotten by the time I got home. So this morning I've just put on a layer of tan. I've given the face a good exfoliation and first thing I did when I got up was use this. I always use this before I cleanse my face in the mornings. Um, and the hack, I don't know how many of you use this new face or if you know much about it. I've had mine for, I think it's a year now. I actually keep it in the kitchen plugged in because when I first got it I used to have it plugged in up here. And I kept forgetting to use it and I thought this is stupid, you know, I bought this and they're not cheap. And I thought it was silly to have spent all that money and not use it. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. I have one cup of tea, another cup of tea and then um, I put a vlog on. This takes about 15 minutes each morning I would say to do both sides. Yeah, so it's an electric current and you just do the moves up here and it beeps I'll show you so that will beep there you go and then you'll glide it up again I haven't got any you have to use gel to that smarting yeah and so you go up the face and then I go that way up the face and I'll repeat it both sides. I'll keep saying to myself I need to put a bit more time effort in because I want to start doing the neck. Apparently you can do either side of your neck. That's what I'm going to start doing now. But on uh, this is the hack, the new face uh, website. You, you buy the conduction gel to go with this and it's pretty pricey. And I found, found this on Amazon and a gel and this is just going to last forever I think I've got two in a pack I've got one of these little pots that needs refilling and I'll stick that in there and that's me refilled now and that will last me about a week and it was so cheap I think it was about seven pounds yeah so I'm back into my new face, tanned, beauty routines, I'm not going to moan again because I really noticed a difference, definitely. Uh, what did I get while I was away? Well I got the cup, I got the cup, we didn't actually do much did we? And I also picked up some um, napkins in uh, TK Maxx. Look, they're so pretty. I thought they'd be lovely for out in the garden because I wanted to have a family get together soon. And these were reduced down to £2.50 for four. You, you couldn't make them for that, could you? £2.50. Nice cotton napkins. These are by Nicole Miller home thought they was beautiful put that with white and green lovely um so that's that and this is the colour of the cosmos that I got I'm hoping to do a purple and white I don't know if I said that when I was walking around the garden centre purple and white uh flower beds so yeah pleased with those that's it. Oh, and while I was away, something very nice came, which made me feel very happy because I was a bit down in the dumps. I mean, I've missed out on work. I've got to catch up on everything now. Um, the whole beauty thing, I felt rotten. Um, just being away so long. I was worried about the garden not being watered. But anyway... 
this turned up it's by a brand called I don't know if you can see that fancy and they do lovely gold jewelry this isn't gold plated jewelry and they sent me this butterfly now before I carry on I just thought how clever a hack is that you know when you got these fine chains and they always get knotted don't they um, and this is just the chain is put in there let's do it longer so you do that and then you separate the chain and you go pop on the end pop on the middle in between the chain and then pop on the other end and the chain is separated and it won't get knotted up I thought that is just such an amazing hack because it happens to me all the time but it's an absolutely beautiful butterfly uh, let me try this on I'll leave the links down below this will will have been featured in the new in hole that I'm going to be putting up before this film that is just so pretty I love the daintiness of it it's really light as well you don't even know you've got it on let me just move a little bit closer so you can see it really really lovely right so now I'm going to have a little chill sort myself out do some work I've got some reels to film bits and pieces to do I've got a blog post to write and crack back on with life um, oh and I wanted to say a huge huge thank you to everyone that supported me over on the Instagram um, maybe being hacked isn't so bad after all I think I'm at nearly um, 630 followers uh, it's not quite the 7800 that I had but I'm enjoying it and the, the support means so much so much to me more than my other Instagram ever did and people are gradually finding me they're realizing that I'm not there and they're they're coming through and yeah it was just so lovely the support that I had from YouTube from for my Instagram so a, a, a big thank you to you all it's just lovely I'll see you next week for the next one and thank you for watching please give a thumbs up